what would it be like if you could create hundreds, maybe 20, 50, as many as you wanted social media posts in just a few clicks? What I want to show you today is how to use Canva's bulk create feature now with images to create graphics really quickly for your business. Because if you are doing potentially like a series on your Instagram, like every week you're posting a quote or every week you're posting a particular tip around something or every week you're doing a particular thing, then having this consistent kind of design already done, like I could, you could literally do a whole year's worth of this kind of post and schedule them out in a couple of clicks and just have this finished for your business. So today I want to show you how you can utilize Canvas Bolt Create feature for you and your business. So you'll see here, this is a test that I've done and this is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. This created for me 10 social media posts. I didn't even write this content. I wouldn't recommend that totally for yourself, but I'm going to show you how you can go from grabbing some content that you drafted in ChatGPT placing that into a document that you can then put into Canva to then create multiple images. And the best thing about this is that this is a system that you can use now with images. I have a tutorial that I shared on this about a year and year and a half ago nearly. And that tutorial went gangbusters because everyone really loved the, the way that it saved so much time. But the frustration that I heard over and over again was I can't use images in here. I can't replace the images quickly. And so I wanna show you how you can do that now because you can do it with Canva's update. So let's dive in. So hi, if we haven't met before, my name is Jackie and I'm a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners how they can create their own incredible standout brand and graphics that are really strategic, that are really fun, that are really drawing their audience and help to grow their business because design is that powerful. So to create your designs, what you want to do is firstly, you'll need a Canva Pro account to do this bulk create feature. If you don't have Canva Pro, I don't know of a workaround for this. So you need to have a Canva Pro account. You could always just upgrade for the month and get everything smashed out. Um, but if you do have a business, I do recommend Canva Pro for that eventually. I've got a whole video that I'll link here on the pros of Canva Pro and if it's a good decision for your business at this point. But in essence, you will need Canva Pro for this. So first you need to brainstorm, what do I want to share? What do I want to post? Like obviously in a business, I don't recommend posting the same design, the same template or the same idea or same sort of post over and over again that gets boring for people but what you could do is think of a couple of series of posts that you might want to do and plan those out you might have for example three sorts of posts that you do over and over again and this feature this bulk create feature you can use to create those really quickly so on my screen right now I have a template that I've made for myself this uses my brand colors my brand elements my brand fonts so I can create a really cohesive vibe and all I've done is I've opened up an Instagram post size Instagram portrait size and I've inserted everything where I want it to be I've inserted some text Text. I've inserted some other text. I've inserted a photo. And what we need to do is actually link this to a spreadsheet and Canva is going to fill in all of the details at one click to create all of the graphics from this one template. So say for example, you want to draft out some, so for me, I want to have two tips, like a tip here, an expansion of my tip here, um, and just a picture of myself here. And so what I might do is get some ideas from ChatGPT. So if you open up ChatGPT, I've got a, a prompt in here that I've written. You're welcome to steal this prompt. I've said, create two columns, one title tip, with DIY graphic design tips that are five to 10 words long and the second column titled expanded with text to explain that tip in more detail around 10 to 20 words long. I found that you need to make sure that you give ChatGPT these text and this word limits. Otherwise you'll find that things might vary in their length and it'll make it really hard for you to have a really consistent template that actually applies well when you use a bold create feature. So having that limit of words is important. You could have a limit of words of three words or 50 words, whatever your limit is though, let ChatGPT know those things. So when I press go right now, what it's going to do is create for me two columns. Having these columns is so, so important. You want to make sure that you include some sort of prompt inside ChatGPT to make it included in columns. I mean, to see here, it's done exactly as I've asked. We've got a tip column here and an expanded column here. What I'm not going to do is grab this data and paste it into a spreadsheet. You can use any spreadsheet software. I'm going to use Google Sheets, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to then copy all of this, open up my spreadsheet and press paste. Once I've pressed paste, you'll see that it's pasted those things in the two columns. And to see, I've got my expanded column and my tip column. What I would do at this point is go in and just make sure that you're happy with the wording here. Like for me, I shared DIY design tips on my Instagram. So having this kind of post makes a lot of sense for me, but I might go through and say, oh, I don't use that kind of language or I don't use this kind of thing. And for me as an Australian, I use a color with a U in it. And so I would just change those bits and pieces and make it my language, make sure that I agree with the tips and make sure that they're part of me. You don't have to use ChatGPT for this part. You could literally just go into a spreadsheet and write out your tips, and which I totally recommend doing if you had that kind of headspace. But if you do want to use ChatGPT to start you off, you can definitely do that. Now I limited it to like, I've only got 10 ideas here. You could do 50, you could do a hundred ideas, whatever you've kind of got a limited your brain to do 
put that in there. So once you're happy with the text you've got in your spreadsheet, what you want to do is then bring this into Canva. Now, if you want to replace the images in all of your different posts, you'll have to enter the data in manually inside Canva, which I'll show you how to do in a moment. And if you're not using images in your posts, you can actually just save this as a CSV file. So if you're using Google Sheets, all you have to do is go to file, download, and navigate down here to comma separated values, CSV, and that'll be a really plain spreadsheet file that you can then use in Canva. And so if you have your CSV file, cause you're not using images in your post like I am, you can just press upload data and upload that CSV. But if you're like me and you're using images, you'll have to enter the data manually. Now don't worry, we don't have to type it all out. What you can do is you press enter data manually and you'll see that it comes up with this data input section. So I'm gonna replace this information with my information. So I'm gonna go, in go back to my spreadsheet, I'm gonna press my column and select it, right click and press copy, then go back to my Canva and select this column at the top. If you press this little skinny box right at the top, you can then press paste. So I've just pressed, um, you can right click and press paste or you can press control V and paste that in. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my second column, select, copy, select, paste. And you can do that for as many columns as you have. You would just press add text and it would bring in a new column and you would insert that in and delete that column. I'm now going to press add image and this is gonna add an image column in. So I press add image. I can then press which image I wanna choose. So this has to be images from your own files. You can't use images from Canva's stock imagery section. So for me, I have a whole folder of my images. So I'm just gonna go through and select each one. So it's literally just a click. I'm gonna click this one in here, open it again, click this one and go through and select the images for each of my designs. And once you've done that for all your images, all you need to do is press done. And then is our second step. We need to connect the data. We need to let this template know which data to pull into which section. So what you need to do is click on the text box. You'll see over here, it's picked up each of those columns. It's picked up tip, expanded and image. No matter what you insert here, it'll pick it up in this section. So then I wanna click on my data here and you'll see at the top, I've got a connect data option or if I right click here, I can press connect data and I can choose which of these text options I wanna put in here. So for me, I wanna put tip in here. So it's just connected this with tip. Then I can right click on this one, connect data and press expand. It's now telling me that both of those fields will be replaced with my updated data from the file. Now I can also go to this image and press connect data and I can press image. So what you need to do here is make sure you have an empty frame. So if I just go to a new design to show you how to do this, all you would do is an insert. So I said so this could be my one of my text columns um, and then I would go to elements over here. I would scroll down to frames. I press see all. So you can choose any of these frames whatsoever. You could do a circle frame or a Polaroid frame. I'm going to do Polaroid just for the sake of it. I'm going to twist on the side a little bit. If I hadn't have connected the data earlier, I could actually just right click again, press connect data and right click again and press connect data and, and attach my image into there. So you just need to make sure your image is a frame. It won't work if you just have an image like this. It won't let you connect the data to an image by itself. It needs to be a frame of an image. Once you've connected all of your data, you can then press continue. You can choose if you want to select all of the different rows of information or just some of them. For me, I'm going to use all of them. And then you just press generate 10 designs. This is going to make me a new Canva document. It's just going to magically duplicate it and then insert all of that text and that imagery that I've selected it to do so. So I haven't touched anything yet. And this is what it's created for me. You'll see if I scroll through these designs, all of that text is now in there. All of my images are now in there and all of this text is also in there. And so it's all pretty much ready for me to use. What I recommend doing though, before you hit go and before you schedule all these posts out, is just check everything is right. So because my tip here is only two words long, I've got a lot of space in here. So I'm just gonna manually bring this up and use it like so. I could maybe bring it down a little bit to make sure it's nice and even. So just go through each of your posts and check that it's all perfectly aligned and designed how you want it to be. You can see here consistent color scheme. Consistent was too long of a word for my font and this size. So I'm just gonna actually just make this a little bit smaller. It's already looking great. I can just pop that down there and we're good to go. So the more consistent your data is in terms of how of how many words it uses, the less editing and tweaking you need to do here. But a big thing to remember is to kind of allow for the biggest amount of data you're going to have because it's so much easier to make it smaller and move it around like I've just done and try to make your text boxes fit more than text than they were designed to fit. Like you can imagine if this was like extra, extra long here, this is just going to be really hard for now for me to lay out. Um, but if I had this already this large and had it suited to being that much amount of text, it'd be easier. But the best thing is to make sure that your text is kind of really consistent in it the amounts of text that it has. So once you're happy, you're pretty much done. You've, you've created like 10 posts really quite quickly. Now, obviously I've shown you this through quite slowly um, to step you through, but in essence, if you knew what you were doing and you had a template already created, you could do this process really, really quickly. So from this point, I usually just download my posts and then I schedule them out using the Meta Scheduling app, um, or you could schedule straight from Canva if that's what you like to do. Whatever you're doing, schedule that 
layout and you've got all of these posts already sorted. I could literally schedule one of these out for each week and my posts are done. So I hope you found that useful. Let me know if you have any questions or any ideas of how you're going to use this. You could use it for social media posts. You could use this for creating like a welcome card for like a hundred different students in one of your programs. You could use this for individualizing a particular workbook cover, or you could use it for um, wedding card invitations or like whatever you're doing. If you need to personalize things or change the data on things and that design is staying the same, then this is a really helpful tool. And now that Canva has added the image adding feature, it is so much more helpful. So I hope you found that useful. If if you would like some more help DIYing your graphics and really just are feeling stuck with your branding or creating designs that are actually strategically attracting and converting and communicating to your audience, I would love to invite you to my Seriously in Business Challenge. It's a free three-part video series where I go through really quick videos showing you how you can create your own incredible brand. So you have this incredible foundation. I'm going to show you Canva tips, I'm going to help you think through your branding strategically and how to actually create graphics that convert your audience. So thank you for watching. If you want to grab that, make sure you head the link in my bio. In the meantime, let me know what you're going to use this bulk create feature for in the comments.